One of the most common reasons that IMAX runs slowly is because the base model included this very slow one terabyte mechanical drive, and this affects the speed of the performance of the entire machine. Um, and th one of the best solutions to fixing this kind of problem is to replace the mechanical drive with a solid state drive. Now, with these IMAX, for example, this one, the late 2013 model, the mechanical drive inside the iMac is extremely hard to access. This entire screen casing is glued into the machine. And in order to access it, you need some special tools. And you also need to re-adhere this screen as well. One alternative is to install the solid state drive externally. And what you'll find is that even if you install the drive in a USB enclosure, you'll find that you'll have comparable speeds to if you installed it internally. The key component here is the is this Kingston solid state drive, which I'm going to use. So this particular one is a 240 gigabyte solid state drive. So I'm going to be using this Sabrent USB 3 enclosure for 2.5 inch SATA hard drives. And this particular device is a UASP drive, which makes it much faster to access data stored here. So it's ideal for an operating system drive. So this particular fix applies to all iMacs. Uh, this is because the base level iMac uh, on this left column here also contains a one terabyte hard mechanical hard drive. And these will suffer the same kind of problems that you'll have with the older iMacs too, and they'll probably benefit from the solid state drive upgrade. And within this particular model, you can actually upgrade the hard drive to a solid state, and you have to pay an extra £180 to get there. And the same problem also appears in the mid and the high end iMacs as well. So these come with one terabyte hard drives or one terabyte fusion drives, which are both mechanical drives. And I'd really recommend not buying uh, any new iMacs with these drives. The solid state drive should be a minimum. But um, as an alternative, you could apply the same fix with the solid state drive as well as an external USB enclosure. So the simplest way to get started is to simply boot into your iMac first and then install a copy of Carbon Copy Cloner. So this piece of software will allow you to clone your internal drive to the external solid state drive. Um, luckily this is a free trial and this is all you only need to use it once to make this work. So all we need to do is install the software. So the next step is to open this enclosure and install the solid state drive inside. So we just slide it open like this. And we can take this spacer out. And then we take our solid state drive and then we slide it into this section there. And then we can slide this cover back on. So that's nice and secure. And then we just plug in this USB cable. So I've plugged in the solid state drive in the enclosure into the back of the computer. And what I'm going to do now is find a copy of Carbon Copy Cloner. This is just asking us to move the Carbon Copy Cloner application into the Applications folder. And from here, I'm going to open Carbon Copy Cloner. Just agree to this licensing agreement, and then we're going to start the trial. So the key here is to select the source on the left, which is going to be the internal drive. And that's indicated by this type of grey icon that shows that it's internal, not external. So this is going to be the source, which I'm going to select here on the left. 
And on the right, I'm going to select the external solid state drive, which is this drive here, which I've already formatted and called Macintosh HD. So that's going to be the destination. And what I'm going to do here is turn the safety net off, which just means that uh, everything from this drive to the right hand drive is going to be copied over. And then I'm going to click the clone button. Here, Carbon Copy Cloner is asking for full disk access. So we're just going to click on this menu item. So all I'm going to do is click the lock icon here to unlock it and type in the password. Then we're going to drag this fish icon into the privacy box area, and this will grant access. Now the Carbon Copy Cloner can continue and we're going to run this process. And this is just a warning to say that the destination will be erased. So I'm going to run this now. So now that the clone is complete, what we're going to do is boot from the solid state drive here. So to do that, we're going to hold down the option key on the keyboard and we're going to open and turn on the Mac Power here at the back of the iMac. So you can see here that the internal drive is this silver icon here, and then we have these two new external drive partitions, and to boot into the fully cloned solid state drive, we just press right on the keyboard and um, we could press enter here. However, a, a really good tip is to hold down control and doing that changes this icon from a up pointing arrow to a circular arrow. And what this means is that it will automatically boot into this clone the next time the computer starts up. So we'll just go ahead and click that now. And we're going to see as well that this computer boots much faster than it did before. So we're in very, very quickly. And if I go into my account, it's going to get to the boot screen much faster. And we can open applications much faster. They're just going to pop up straight away. And um, it's a much more responsive machine. So the last final tip here is to format the internal drive using disk utility. And what I've done here is I've booted into the recovery drive to do so. And I've selected the internal hard drive here. And uh, the reason that we do this is because uh, we don't want to accidentally log into the internal drive again. And it also frees up some space. So if we wanted to um, store some data on there, we're still free to do that, even though it's a slow drive. So all we do is um, click on here in the view, show all devices. And what I'm gonna do is erase and format this entire volume. So if I click here, I'm just going to name it something useful like internal HD and I'm going to put it as a Mac OS journaled and erase. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and please watch out for more tech video tips from me.